Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, we'll be covering an NPM package that allows you to easily add a text mask to any of your form input elements. This is important for data integrity by requiring that your users enter data in a specified format. So let's get started. All right, before we get started, this video does assume that you already have an Angular application set up. For this example, we just have a simple skeleton form with one input element. And at this point, there's no validation, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and head over to npm and we're going to search for a package called angular text mask the first one that shows up is angular 2 text mask this is going to be the one that we want so we're going to go ahead and grab this import statement and once this is copied we'll head over to our terminal and in our project path we'll go ahead and paste this if this is your first time installing this might take a moment and once that finishes downloading the next thing we're going to do is head back over to npm we're going to go ahead and grab this import statement to import the text mask module We'll head back over to our project and in our source and then in our app we're going to go ahead and click on the app module ts and up at the top we'll import this module down to the import statements we'll also paste it here we'll head back over to npm we'll scroll down a bit and we're going to go ahead and grab this directive which is the text mask directive which basically formats the text for us we'll head over to our app html and over here we'll go ahead and paste this and we'll rename the mask variable to phone mask since this is going to be specific to phones We'll scroll down and we'll copy this crazy regular expression looking statement. We're going to go ahead and copy this, head back over. And over in our TS file, we're going to go ahead and create that variable called phone mask. And we'll set it equal to that crazy regular expression. So we'll go ahead and save this and we'll head back over to our terminal. And at this point, we're ready to run it. So we're going to write ng serve dash dash open. And this might take a moment. And once that finishes running, you'll see that our project will pop open on localhost 4200. And as you can see, we already have the formatting in place. If we try to type in some random characters in here, it will not allow it. It forces all input to be specifically between parentheses for the area code, three digits, a dash, and then the four ending numbers. To get a little bit of a better idea of what's going on behind the scenes, let's take another look at our phone mask variable. So not only does this directive restrict the user input to a specified format, but it also inserts characters for us. More specifically, it enters an opening and a closing parentheses around the area code. It also has a space before the phone number actually starts, as well as a hyphen before the, la the beginning three and the last four of the digits. This again is great for data integrity. Well, that'll just about do it for this video. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more programming related content coming soon.